We first met the Ionic 5 at its India unveil where it lit up the gateway of India. Then Shah Rukh Khan came down to the Auto Expo to announce prices of this car. And now we are in Goa to drive Hyundai's latest premium electric car. Let's get on with this test. Before we get going, a quick styling walk around. Now the Ionic 5 looks unlike any other Hyundai that you've seen. There is no family trace of anything. Neither the front nor the side, nothing. And I think it looks spectacular. Now obviously you get full LED lights, but the treatment, the graphic treatment on the DRLs, it looks very sci-fi, very special. Lots of cuts and creases and lines and slashes. And in the past, we would have criticized Hyundai saying, oh, this is too much. But on the Ionic 5, it just works. It all comes together. 20 inch wheels, massive wheels. Now, looking at this, you might think that this is the hatchback, probably the size of an i20, but you are mistaken because this is 4.6 meters in length. This is as long as a two saw. The wheelbase, that is 3 meters, exactly 3 meters long is the wheelbase and this obviously is based on an electric skateboard so the batteries are between the axles and over at the rear if you look at this treatment of the LED DRLs all of it, it just looks so nice, so eye-catching this is in marked contrast to the Kia EV6. The EV6 is also based on the same platform. It has the swoopy lines, looks very futuristic. But this, I think, man, you will not mistake this for anything on the road. And if this is the design language that will filter down to other Hyundais, man, we are in for a treat. The interiors may be not as futuristic as the exteriors, but still this is a nice original design for the dash, which is all very logically laid out. You have a 12.3 inch infotainment screen, another 12.3 inch digital cluster. On the steering wheel, you have the drive mode, so you can put it into normal, eco or sport mode, which actually changes the displays on the digital cluster. You have hard buttons, so your volume, your navigation, a direct mode to get into the maps. So you don't have to hunt into the menus for everything on the infotainment. Though that said, the infotainment, all the menus, it works really well and very logically. All the seats are electrically operated and I mean all the seats, all four seats. So driver, passenger, as well as the rear two seats. And you adjust them using the buttons out here on the passenger seat. In fact, there is this third button, which is the one touch button for getting into that lounge mode, the lounge recline mode on the front seat, where even the Ottoman comes out. You even have an Ottoman for the driver's seat. Also, all these positions can be stored in the memory. That's nice. Though, just one thing, the rear seats have got seat warmers, not seat coolers. It was probably more expensive to take it out. So, Hyundai have just left it in. This has got a flat floor. There is a three-pin socket. So you can charge your drone and all your other electrical appliances using that three pin socket. The center console, it moves. So you can adjust it. So even the passengers at the rear can use it. That's such a cool touch. And the cabin itself is very nice and airy. And the three meter wheelbase, it results in a lot of space for the passengers. And I'll jump into the back seat and tell you about that. The Ionic 5 is based on the Hyundai eGMP platform. It is actually the Hyundai Group eGMP platform. And the first time we saw it was on the Kia EV6. Now, the Hyundai is in a slightly lower spec. So you get a 72.6 kilowatt hour battery. It makes 214 bhp, 350 newton meters of torque. And unlike the EV6, which you can get with all wheel drive as well as with rear wheel drive, here in the Ionic 5, you only get rear wheel drive. And that means zero to 100 while quick, it is not as quick as the EV6. So you get zero to 100 in 7.6 seconds, which still makes it the fastest accelerating Hyundai that you can buy in the country today. Like with all electric cars, 
range is a big talking point on the Ionic 5 and Hyundai is making a lot of noise around the claimed 631 kilometers of range. Now that has been tested as per the ARAI cycle and this has gone through the ARAI testing because it has been assembled in India. It is not a full import. But in the WLTP cycle, which is what we now use to reference range for all of these cars, it does 507 kilometers. When we set off this morning at 98% charged, it showed around 420 kilometers of range. So in the real world, you should get slightly over 400 kilometers, which honestly is extremely good for an electric car. 800 volts is actually academic for India because we don't really have a 350 kilowatt charger, DC ultra fast chargers all over the country. But if you do find one of those, it will do 0 to 80% in 18 minutes flat. And you do find 150 kilowatt chargers in some pockets around the country. But of course, most often you will be using an AC wall box. And on an 11 kilowatt hour AC wall box, it will do 100% in 6 hours and 55 minutes. It will not have missed your attention that the Ionic 5 also has vehicle to load. Now what that means is that suppose you go out into the forest or the jungles, you go camping. I don't know why you take an EV to go camping, but suppose you went and did that and you needed to power your lights or maybe your DJ console, you can take power from the Ionic 5. So it will give you 3.6 kilowatts power and you can power that. In fact, when Hyundai showcased the Ionic 5 for the first time in India, at the gateway of India, so out of, I think there were six or seven projectors on the gateway of India, three of them were powered by three Ionic 5s that were parked there. So each one, each car had powered one LED projector. So you can take juice out of it. Hyundai have consciously focused on comfort with the Ionic 5. So unlike the EV6, where we did point out that while it handled really well, it was a bit on the firmer side, a little bit too sporty maybe for Indian conditions for regular driving. The Ionic 5 has been focused on comfort and it actually is pretty comfortable. And that's despite the tires, it's running 20 inch rims, so massive wheels. It gives you surprisingly good ride comfort. This is extremely comfortable. When you pick up speed over slightly bumpy roads, it does tend to move around a bit. Body control could be slightly better in my opinion. But overall, the balance of ride as well as handling is very well sorted for Indian roads and conditions. The back seat of the Ionic 5 uses that entire 3 meter wheelbase to excellent effect. Anand, who's driving me, he is 5 foot 6 inches, I am 5 foot 9 inches, and I've got like half a foot of free knee room. So there's plenty of space out here. This massive glass roof that also lets in a lot of light and air into the cabin. So it feels very spacious, allied to these nice use of colors and materials inside the cabin. But I have to point out, because the batteries are mounted on the floor, the floor height is high. And that's why my knees are a little bent. I don't have much under thigh support. I can't tuck in my toes under the front seat. So that compromises space in a bit. Now the seats, these are electrically operated. So you can slide it fore and aft. You can also use these buttons behind the front seat to slide these back seats. You can also recline the rear seats. So that's also adjustable. You have sunshades. You have a heater for the rear seat. So these seats are heated. They're not cooled. That's the thing that you want. You have two USB sockets, but these are USB-A, not USB-C. You have a three pin socket, so you can charge your accessories, appliances, your drone, if you so wish. And that's the back seat. Now, in terms of comfort, when I was driving it, I did remark that the ride comfort is very good. The suspension compliance is good, even though it is running 20 inch wheels. But sitting here at the back, after a while, you start to feel a bit uncomfortable. If you are looking at buying the Ionic 5 to be driven around to work every day, probably not the car for you. But to drive, it is really nice. And that's why we'll jump back into the driver's seat.
the ground clearance is also good goes over all the speed breakers so all the speed breakers we found in goa we've not had to go gingerly over it you can do it at a pace that you would do it in say a hyundai tucson without the passengers getting uncomfortable or fear of the battery pack underneath touching the speed breaker these roads are slightly wavy and the ionic 5 does take it really well of course on the flip side the handling it is good there is a good amount of grip but you do notice the body roll and when the road gets a little wavy the body control is not as tight as i would like it to be there is a bit of movement and then you can feel the weight of this thing because this thing like all electric cars is a heavy beast but overall in terms of the balance if you ask me i think this is well suited to india because our roads more often than not aren't in the best shape so to take in all these typically indian roads and to use this as a daily driver the ionic 5 setup is better suited to indian roads and conditions than probably the ev6 the ev6 is a bit more sporty we drove that at the launch at the bic you could really fling it around corners and it does grip well plus that has all wheel drive with torque vectoring so all of that jazz the ionic 5 does not have torque vectoring the rear wheel drive well it does have traction control which you can switch off completely so if you are in the mood for some laughs you can get the tail out you can get the ionic 5 sideways now the ionic 5 these seats are the premium seats so you even get a footrest that's for both the front seats so you can adjust that so your calves are also resting so it's an added dose of comfort the seats itself are very supportive very cushy nice and comfortable the entire layout of the cabin now this hasn't been borrowed from an existing hyundai this is all new and it is fresh it is appealing it doesn't look like it has been whacked from mercedes or bmw or anything like that it is a very fresh refreshing design which focuses on space on giving the roomy cabin an even greater sense of roominess what you do get with the ionic 5 is level 2 adas so similar to the tuso you get front active collision warning and it also breaks in case it detects a collision is imminent you get the blind spot warning you get lane keep assist when you reverse out if something is coming at you and you can't see it because of the pillars it will break for you and the good thing is that you can switch it all off so in the city because of the chaos the adas does jump in way too often and you don't want it to come in so in the menus you go through the system settings and you can switch off the active collision avoidance keep the warning on so at least it will warn you in case you have missed something jumping at you you have a wireless charger for your phone you have a whole bunch of usb slots but these are all usb a slots and i should point out the ionic 5 does not get wireless carplay it is wired which is strange because electric cars they always are the forefront of incorporating all this technology and now most cars have wireless carplay but the ionic 5 it still sticks with wired carplay in terms of safety the ionic 5 is the safest car hyundai will sell you right now it gets 6 airbags esp vsc hill hold control hill start assist level 2 adas regeneration so it's got these paddles behind the steering wheel that's to adjust the level of regeneration tap it once you get the i pedal driving so i pedal on and that gives you more or less single pedal driving you have three driving modes so there is this button out here on the steering wheel so you have eco you have normal and you have sport i've set it in sport you step on it there's a nice turn of speed and it's very progressive so you can control and modulate your speed very efficiently and very effectively the steering in regular mode is very light very easy to drive around in the city and even in sport mode it doesn't become too heavy but there is a nice resistance to it that sort of gives you more confidence in the ionic 5 and it's all done very nicely styling is personal but if you were to compare this with the ev6 which is really nice and futuristic and swoopy and all of that but i 
prefer the Arnic 5's styling. All the sharp angles, the nice chunky, funky feel to it. Really excellent. And with an electric car, the build-up of speed is just so effortless, so effortlessly fast. You end up covering ground far quicker than you expect to. And you come out on the other side feeling less tired, less fatigued, less irritated by all the rubbish that you find on the road, all the poor driving that you encounter, all the idiots jumping in front of your car. And for that, you have ADAS. Even when you stick it in sport mode, it doesn't look or feel too aggressive. It's nice that focus on comfort, on being a relaxing car is nice. I don't believe I'm saying this, but I like that comfort and calmness of the Ionic 5. They're going over speed breakers really well. That is a very important criteria. In time, you probably won't bother about it that much, but you know that the batteries are in the floor. And with an electric car, you don't want to ground it out. Forty-five lakh rupees for a Hyundai? Well, in the past, people would say that's way too much. Go and buy a Mercedes or a BMW. But in this brave new electric world, all the rules are being rewritten. What do you want? You want good styling. Ionic 5 has that. You want good performance. You want good ride. You want good space. You want good quality. And the Ionic 5 ticks all those boxes. In fact, at this price, the Ionic, it makes a lot of sense. It is great value for money when you compare it with the other electric cars in the segment. Now, of course, that 44.95 lakh pricing, that was restricted to the first thousand units. And after the budget, the prices are set to go up. But even then, the Ionic 5, it makes a brilliant case for itself. <laughs> 